In June of 2010, I made a major change to my flight simulation laboratory with the addition of a wonderful hardware programmable keyboard. I still have the old-fashioned keyboard here in a drawer and I use it when necessary, but most things are now controlled through the combination that you see here of my joystick and this hardware controlled programmable keyboard. This is a Cherry keyboard from their point of sale terminal series. They call it the SPOS series and the model number is G86-63400 and I really like it because all of these buttons, there are more than a hundred of them, are reprogrammable in hardware. It comes with a USB interface so I can plug it into the USB connector on any popular computer and if I plug it into a Windows machine using a modern version of Windows I can use Cherry software based on Windows that allows me to reprogram any of these keys with any com complex combination of regular keystrokes including shifts etc. Then when I remove it from a Windows machine and plug it back into my Linux or other computer it remembers that setup so I can have a standard layout. I've divided up into various sections so I can have areas for my navigation, radar, targeting, fuse, communication, weapons, all these different things that are usable and reprogrammable and because I use a lot of different flight simulators in both Windows and Linux I've found ways to program them all so that they're standardized, very very logically laid out, very similar and I tend to use the same buttons for similar functions in all of those flight simulators. I really like it and it's worked out really well so I've set it up in both of my main flight simulator laboratory workstations. These areas that you see with the rectangular areas there are keys under there that I don't really need so I use them to relate and label adjacent keys for radar, navigation, targeting, etc. 